Previously on Republic of Doyle. I'm Malachi Doyle. I'm a private detective, and this is my son, Jake. You wouldn't die for me, would you? No. I am your wife. I want to talk to you, not stupid Walter. She had that lawyer thing. You divorced. You are such a bastard! Meet Constable Leslie Bennett. Were you just checking me out? Bit of an adjustment, you moving in here with me and your grandfather. <laughs> Bosses don't work. You'd know all about that, wouldn't you? No? Well, maybe it's time for us to start hiring some staff, you know? Like, uh, maybe like a hot secretary or something. That's all we need. Hmm? Shiny new pickup from the east. Well, at least we know where all the money's going. Move it, use two hands. You'd be amazed what you can do. Uh, that's him. Richard Mulvaney. Come on, get with it. Get up there. Come Jeez, on, do it. Deadbeat dick. Now, don't shag this up, Jake. We've got other cases to get to. Just serve him and move on. Yeah, you know, sometimes your confidence in me, it's staggering. Serve him, move on. Money and time, man. My money, my time. Come on, get this out of here. Oh, guys, hey. Hey. Richard. Because you're lazy. Mulvaney. Who are you, boy? What do you want? No. Oh. Served. Yeah, pay all your uh, child support, you piece of crap. This girl, a waitress, she said that you two were PIs and that Jake was awesome. I, I mean, professionally, that you might be able to help. So all you have is a nickname? Yeah, Turk. And uh, this photo. My mom was 19, working as a waitress in Banff. Turk was passing through on a motorbike with a buddy. Very handsome, apparently. I had a weekend fling. Nine months later, I showed up. Just out of curiosity, why are you choosing now to go looking for your father? Uh, my mom just died. I just thought, now's the time, you know. Oh, sorry for your loss. Just before the end, she admitted she had a few more details about Turk. He, he rode a Harley and was from St. John's. <sighs> uh, anything else? No, unfortunately. L look, when you find him, can you let him know I don't want any money or to intrude in his life? I I just want to meet him, you know, just once. See, that's what working with you every day will do to a man. Okay, there he is. That's what he would look like today. No real name, 25-year-old photo, and he rode a Harley. I went through every yearbook from St. John's from the 80s, and there were guys with nicknames like Bucky, Frog, Jigger, but no Turks. But once a Harley rider, always a Harley rider. You know him or what? Not if he's in trouble. Look, he's not in trouble, all right? Relax. This is just like a family feud-type case thing. 
There's a guy from the Pearl. All right, look. This is what we think he looks like now. Yeah, well, well more or less. All the strip malls from Mount Pearl, he owns them. Wow, what a kingdom. He's got a strange name. Uh, uh, Victor. Victor, uh, Berman. Victor Berman. Hey. Yeah. Thanks, Graham. Hey, guys, uh, hey, leave me out of this, all right? Yeah. I mean, he's a decent guy, okay? Sponsors all the Fight for the Rock charity stuff. Good for him, Pally. Sure. Hey, Sherlock, before we get this girl's hopes up, or wreck this guy's marriage, we've got to be 100% sure it's not him, right? I totally agree. I just hope that in 25 years, I don't have some Emma knocking on my door. You're lucky if it's not 10 Emmas. <laughs> I swear to God, I find this kid. There, Chachi. Dick for her? Nice. Yeah, yeah. Victor Berman. He your father? Is he home? Yep. <clears throat> Not a bad spot. What are you gonna do? Get one of these? Hello? Victor Berman? Jake and Malachi Dahl, private investigators. We have a few questions. Yeah, private investigators. Sorry, sort of, uh, uh, you know, delicate nature. You might want to invite us in. What is it you want? We're looking for a guy named Turk. You ever hear of him? No, never heard of him. Just two minutes of your time. This is quite the spot you got. Thank you. So, 25 years ago, you met a girl out west, knocked her up, then you bailed. Your daughter hired us to find you. Oh, what daughter? I don't have a daughter. Listen, Victor. A man who looks a lot like you rode a Harley through Banff, met and had a romance with a young woman named Cynthia Michaeltree from British Columbia. Yeah, well, I never rode a Harley through Banff, and I don't know any woman named Cynthia Michael, whatever. And her daughter Emma thinks you might be her father. No way. Look, I know this is difficult news, but, you know, just take your time. I don't need any time. Have a look at this photo there. Sure looks a lot like you. No, it's not. All right, buddy. Look, this girl, all right? Her mother just died. She never had a father. So why don't you have another look at this picture here and think real hard? What kind of con are you guys running, huh? That could be a million guys. No, I do not know this woman. Why don't you just get the hell out of my house? She's not my daughter. Charlotte. These gentlemen were just leaving. All right. We'll talk to you later. This is the beautiful house you have. So, he denied everything, but if you ask me, he's the guy in the photo. I see. There's always the possibility that uh, your mother wasn't exactly telling you everything. Either way, there's his name and his address. The rest is up to you now. Uh, thank you so much for doing this. I, I, I really appreciate it. It's doing my job. If it is him, I hope he does the right thing. Yeah. I almost forgot. You guys.